um, so we're looking at this um, simple interest question here. And it said that a man deposited $800 in his account at a bank, which offers 6% simple interest per annum. Um, how much interest would he receive on the 800 after nine months? All right, so the question definitely, as you could see when you read this, and that it is asking about the interest. There is a formula that we normally use to calculate simple interest, and it goes like this. The simple interest earned is equal to P, which is what stands for the principal times the rate times the time all over 100. And this should give us what the interest is for that time. The only issue is that time must be years, and this um, is nine months. So there are two ways we could go about this. One, we could take the time here, which is nine months. We could actually turn this to years. So we want to turn this to years. So nine months to years, it could be written as nine over 12 if you want. Or you could break it down because 9 over 12 is the same thing as 0 0.75 year. So we could plug 0 0.75 here as the year. Or we could represent it as 9 over 12 in this. So I'm going to use the 0 0.75, right? The principal, which is the money invested, which is the 800 times the rate, which is the percentage here times the time, which is going to be 0 0.75 years, um, we converted the months to years and we divide this by 100. So this is all we need to do, put this on our calculator, and then the answer will actually come up, right? So let's see what we get. So it's going to be 800 times 6 times 0.75. We're going to get 3,600. I'm going to divide this by 100. And it is telling us that the simple interest is $36. Um, remember that we have the principal, which is P. It's 800. We have the rate. And this is R, which is 6% per annum. The interest is given, but it's given in disguise. So when you read, it is suggesting that, hey, take a look. We have 800, and we want to know how long does it take to reach 992. So this 992, if I minus the 800, it's going to tell me the interest earned over the time that we're investigating. So we want to know the time that it took the 800 to move to 992, which suggests that the interest would have been $192. To find the time, to find the time, we can simply use this formula that says that the time is equal to a hundred times I over the principal times the rate. And this is gonna take us to a hundred times 800. Well, this is not 800, 192 should say. A hundred times 192. And we're going to put this over 800 times 6. So this is going to give me 19200 over 4800, right? So let's see what we get from that. All right, so 19,200 divided by 4,800. And this will be about four years. So the time it will take would have been four years. All right. All right, let's, uh, let's say we could look at another question. Looking at, um, the question reads as follows. It says, the simple interest on a sum of money invested at 3% per annum for two years was $39.75. Calculate the sum of money invested. All right, so the principal P um, is what we're in search of. We don't know it because the sum of money invested is always the principal, and we refer to that as a P. Um, let's see what, what else we have. We have the rate, which is the percentage per annum, which is three. Um, we have the time, which is two years. 
we also realize that we have the interest, which is I, and it is 39.75. All right, so with this, we're gonna just simply use the formula to find the principal, which is 100 times the interest all over the rate times the time. So in this case, a um, hundred times the interest, which is 39.75. We wanna divide this by the rate, which is three times the time, which is two. So what we have here is 3,975. We wanna divide this by six, and it's gonna give us that principal amount that was actually invested. So let us take a look. 39.75 divided by six. And we're getting $662.50. This was the principal, which is P. It is the sum of money that was invested. All right, see you next time.